Let's take a look at the equation for PB plus FESO4 it gives us this PBSO4 plus FE. So before we balance the equation, let's just look at the states and what's going on here. So lead, that's a solid. It's a metal. Just like iron, that's a metal. So that's going to be a solid. If you know your solubility rules, sulfates in general are soluble. And iron to sulfate, that's soluble. So we're going to put a little AQ for aqueous. Kind of squeeze that in there. Lead sulfate, though, lead compounds in general, you need to be careful. Often they're insoluble. Lead sulfate is insoluble, so this will actually form a solid. So we'll have a solid here. This will be a precipitate. It will fall to the bottom of the solution. So I would expect that you'd have this lead metal, and then you'd have the iron sulfate solution with this iron 2 sulfate dissolved in water. And then when you mix these together, everything would fall to the bottom as precipitate. This would be our precipitate here. The iron would precipitate to the bottom and you'd just be left with water, which is kind of cool. If you're going to balance the equation, you have one lead, one iron, and then we'll count this SO4 here. This is the sulfate ion. It's on both sides. We're just going to count that as one thing. So we have one sulfate. Product side, one lead, one iron, and one sulfate. So it's already balanced. If you wanted to report the coefficients, you could say one, 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 but we don't write them by convention. So this is Dr. B with a kind of interesting reaction here with this PBSO4 solid precipitating out as well as the iron metal. Thanks for watching.